The Cardinal Way for Men Live. My name is Ed Cardinal, and I am honored to be joined by Ricky Schick, who is a personal trainer, certified personal trainer. He is a two-time champion bodybuilder, and he has been helping men get healthier in the gym and in life mm -hmm. for over a decade now. So he's helped a, a lot of men throughout his, his career. He's, he's, I can tell you firsthand, I've seen him. He trains clients in the gym that I work out at. Passionate and enthusiastic. And his enthusiasm and his passion is infectious. His clients love working with him because of that. And they also get results because they are motivated to work out with him because he makes it fun and he makes it enjoyable and he knows what he's doing. So it's, it's, a, it's a pleasure to have you on my Facebook Live tonight. A little bit different way of doing it tonight. I, I like actually like this, you know, be able to interview someone who is an expert uh, in this in this field. Mm -hmm. So Rick, Ricky, we know that as men get older, their their bone density, their muscle mass, their right. testosterone levels drop. So how is exercise, why is it important for men, particularly as they age, right. to, uh, to incorporate in their life? Oh, first of all, thank you for having me on the show. Oh, I really perfect. appreciate it. Well, I watch these on like a daily basis, so it's really cool to actually be a part of it. Yeah. So super awesome. Thank you very much for oh, having me on the show. Oh, you're um, yeah, why is that so important, exercise over 40? So I think the main part is this, and I think a lot of people, as they get older, they get busy, and what happens is they fall into a sedentary lifestyle, right? And they come into this, they, they have this thing in their head where they feel like after they turn 30, right, it's downhill from there. You ever hear people talk about that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, it's like, oh, once 30 comes, that's it. Yeah. It's downhill from here, right? <laughs> that means I only got two years left, <laughs> if that's the case. But, um, but no, it doesn't have to be that way. And what happens is over time, it's that sedentary lifestyle that decreases muscle mass, that decreases bone density, right? That lowers testosterone levels. And the big part, the big takeaway is, you know, when we live sedentary, we're not giving our bodies, you know, a reason to get stronger and better because our bodies are these awesome and beautiful adaptation machines, right? If you want to have increased testosterone, if you want to have increased muscle mass, if you want to have increased bone density, you have to give it a reason to do that, right? And when you give it a reason to do that, right, when you work out, when you go for a hike and you be active, right, then your testosterone increases, then your bone mass, you know, your bone density increases and your muscle mass increases, and your overall life gets better. Absolutely. So a lot of people miss out on that. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's that old adage, uh, don't use it, you lose it. Yeah, exactly, right. exactly. So right. I mean, as a physical therapist, I know this firsthand, and mm -hmm. I learned this in school, that in order to build muscle mass, first of all, you have to work, you have to you work have muscles, work. Right. Right. Yes. In order to build bone density, you have to build muscle mass to put forces across that mm -hmm. bone in order for the bone to react to those forces to increase density. Right, in density, right, you gotta give it a reason. Right. And you know from personal experience, like if you didn't have the active lifestyle that you had, how would you feel? Well, I can tell you, for me, I mean, I've always, since I was a kid, needed to move my body. Right, right. right. So when I don't work out every day, I mm -hmm. feel terrible. Right, you feel terrible. I do, wow. I, feel, I feel sluggish, mm -hmm. uh, I just, I, I feel tired. Right. Um, so yeah, it's definitely, once you incorporate it and get into that that routine right. and that habit, it's hard to go back. It's hard to go back. And I think getting into that, that conversation of like, you know, exercising and moving your body, we have to talk about testosterone, right? Men's testosterone will decline as they get older. However, right, I think we've taken this and over-exaggerated this completely. Men can still maintain muscle mass, if not reverse the clock by changing their lifestyle habits. As technology increases, we're seeing a trend in people, not only heart disease is, is the number one killer in America, but it's the fact that 
we are evolving into this sedentary lifestyle or moving towards this sedentary lifestyle, which we have the lowest testosterone levels that we've ever had, right? 20 years ago, men had much more testosterone than we do now, right? Why is that? We moved more back then, right? People aren't moving so much, they think that, oh, well, I guess that's just how life has to be, right? right? Doesn't have to be that way right. at all. Right. My father, right, perfect example. I had the awesome opportunity as a kid to watch my dad exercise. I mean, as, as I was growing up, I just assumed that, you know, oh, every dad must bench press over 300 pounds. That's really cool, right? And then I go up to Johnny, <laughs> like, hey, Johnny, playing in the sandbox, you know? Like, what does your dad do for a living? Oh, you know, my dad, he could bench press 300 pounds. And Johnny would laugh, and I'm like, I'm serious? Yeah, my dad can. My dad, how, much, how much can your dad bench? <laughs> And you'd be like, what's that? Yeah. So, and then it just dawned on me, right. you know, like, oh my gosh, my dad has given me a wonderful opportunity to watch that and grow and get better. Oh, but here's my point to that. He's 58 and he's still benching over 300 pounds. Yeah. Right? Doesn't stop. Like you said, you don't use it, you don't lose it. You know? Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be 60 this year. Oh. And, I, and I don't. You know, I, I believe age is a is a mindset. Mm -hmm. I I don't feel sixty. I don't act sixty, and I you don't know, treat my body like it's sixty. Right. I'm still you know trail running three four times a week in the gym two three times a week. Yeah. You know, doing my yoga practice. Uh, I mean, it, our bodies, as you know, are meant to move. Right. And when they're not moving, they start to break down, and they don't do and you do not feel good. It affects not only you physically, but Emotionally, mentally, spiritually. Right, 100%. If you're not moving your body, it's like, what are you doing at yeah. that point? Right. You know, and I know everyone's got desk jobs and stuff like that, but I, but I love what you said. You're still practicing it. Mm -hmm. It's a part of your life, yeah. right? It's a lifestyle. And I think, not that exercise needs to be your life, but the fact that you're, that's a part of your life. Absolutely. Because your mind is one thing, and your body is also another thing. Yeah. You need to be going hand in hand. Absolutely. With that. Yeah. I, I feel it's a, it's the foundation to the things that uh, the parts of your life that stack on top of it. So the, the the physical take care of your physical body through strengthening, mm -hmm. through exercise, through good sleep, through good nutrition, breathing, hydration. Sure. Um, and then on top of it, that that's going to impact your emotional life. Yeah. Your mental life. Mm -hmm. Your relationships. Sure. I mean, uh, listen. I'll tell you one thing. Bodybuilding taught me, and I've been bodybuilding for the last 10 years, right, as a natural competitor, and it's taught me so much mentally. Just that mental game of being able to work hard for something, being able to overcome a hard physical challenge, right, mm -hmm. can prep me for the challenges to come, right? right? And like you said, we talked about testosterone, increased testosterone boosts your mood. People don't understand that. When you have low testosterone, right, people tend to be very moody, they can't sleep, Right? Yeah. Their hormones are all messed up. And when you have high testosterone or a normal healthy level of testosterone, your mood is great. You're always happy, right? You're in a very happy mood. That's why you see a lot of guy athletes who are very happy all the time. It's because they got testosterone flowing through their veins. <laughs> but here's the best part about testosterone. It makes effort feel good. Yeah. That's why you see all these top guys. They actually did a uh, study on top CEOs. Their testosterone was ele more elevated than the average person, right? because it makes effort feel good, yeah. like doing something feel good. And when, like we just said, when we exercise, right, and we go through those mental struggles and challenges and we elevate, it's like a domino effect. Now I'm working out, I'm feeling good. Oof, now my business is getting better. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm putting in the extra effort. So body in motion stays in motion. You don't use it, you don't use it. Strength training, that's mm -hmm. something that you really Specializing. Yes. Um, so building muscle mass will increase testosterone? hundred percent. Not just moving your body, but increasing muscle mass. Yeah, of course, because when people, when men exercise, actually did a study in 2007, and the study was when men underwent exercise, right, and when they were participating in strength training, their testosterone went up 21%, right? And then when they continued to exercise and made it consistent, their overall testosterone levels increased over time, right? 
So that's a that's a huge thing. So yeah, you get a peak, you get a, a spike in testosterone mm -hmm. when you're exercising, and then and then it levels down and drops out. But the more consistent we are, the more muscle mass we put on, right? Our basal metabolic rate raises, right? More muscle mass to contain, right? And the more testosterone we have, the more muscle mass we can hold on to. That also goes into a play. The more muscle mass we have, the less body fat we're gonna have. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because we're burning more calories and as having a higher basal metabolic rate. And when we have higher body fat, we have higher estrogen levels, right? right. And estrogen is a testosterone chemical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's huge. So we kind of want to level that out. If you're a man, you want more testosterone than you want estrogen, right? Because estrogen is going to completely slow you down at that point. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I, I know for me, my strength training and workouts when I was younger right. are much different than they are now. Sure. I was I was lifting heavier. I was doing more of a power or bodybuilding sure, type yeah. of a routine. My routine is completely different now. So, what would be a good routine for someone, a man who's over forty? What, what are you taking through men through in your your workouts? My number one thing when I'm training anybody, right? What do they like to do? Great point. What do they like to do? Because I can take anybody through a cookie cutter workout, right? It's not going to work for everybody, right? Not everybody's in the body over. You know, not everyone's into yoga. You know what I'm saying? It's if I can find something that is going to not only stimulate the muscle, right? Mm -hmm. Stimulate the cardiovascular system and challenge the body and they enjoy it, that's a win. Absolutely. Because everything's gonna snowball at that point. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and then we can fit in other things here and there, you know what I'm saying? And but typically men wanna gain muscle and they yeah. wanna gain strength. So that's usually just a bodybuilding routine. So my thing is any type of exercise routine. Doesn't have to be bodybuilding. It could be hiking. It could be biking. It could be yoga. Anything that you enjoy to do, go for it. Right. Do it and do it consistent. Right. right. That's what I was like. Yeah, and, and what I do now is full body circuit training, and I see you take your class yes. through a lot of that. That's right. So you're, you're not only mm -hmm. it's functionally based. Mm -hmm. you're, you're getting the heart rate up, so you're getting benefit all all around, and it's fun to do. Yeah, it's fun to. And I got thirty minutes, so I got to do a lot in thirty minutes. So you're, you're doing you know, plans for a thirty minute routine. Thirty minute routine, yeah, get in there. That, that, that's awesome. See, I told you he knew what he was doing. Try. And he's passionate, <laughs> and, and uh, you, you can see now why Ricky's clients love love me working with them. So, mm -hmm. so Ricky, I, I appreciate you, you being on my I, my live tonight. Thank you for very, having me. Very informative. Uh, if someone wanted to reach out to you, uh, how would they how would they do so? You have a you have a website? Uh, sure. You, YouTube or Instagram? What, what? Yes, I have YouTube. I have Instagram, and I have Facebook. You can actually I actually put I love them. I'll put my link in the description over there. Yes. Okay yeah, with we'll, you. I'll put, I'll put it. Um, you can actually find me, Ricky underscore Schick underscore Fitness for You, right? On Instagram, F H word is an underscore. You can find me on Instagram. That's where I do majority of my business. That's where I do majority of the social media. You can reach me there. Do you work with clients virtually? Yes. You do. I do coaching virtually, and I also do coaching in person. So if there's anybody in the Asheville or Weaverville area that wants to get a one-on-one -on -one personal training session with me, your first session is always free. We're going to find what you'll love to do, and we're going to get you to do it consistently. So awesome. don't be afraid to contact me. Awesome. Thanks again. That's a wrap for, for this uh, Carbon Away From Men Live. And if you have any questions, I want you to, questions for me, questions for Ricky, you can either reach out to him, but drop them in the comments, and I'll be happy to get back to you. And until Absolutely. you see me again, take care. Awesome. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.